my evil laugh. Sorry I didn't mean to stalk you guys. The name is Master Chief, of course. But for tonight, you could call me Mr. Spooky Looky. Yeah, I know, you are wondering about this costume. As you can see, tonight is Halloween. Or should I say, Halloween. Me and the Arbiter have dressed up to join the feast. Speaking of Orbiter, check out his retarded costume. It's not retarded. I call this the thinker. It makes you look cooler, as well as make you think faster than Einstein. Okay, whatever, but it sucks. Mine is the best of all, even Cortana's- Hey, I heard that. What the fuck? Where did that come from? Over there. Where? Here. Where? Dude, she's wearing a special camouflage suit which enables her to be totally invisible, as well as flying around the map. How lame. Remember that I'm invisible. I could still smack you whenever I want. Ow. That freaking hurt. It's supposed to hurt. It's an ass kicking. Go mind your own business buying shoes or eating Halloween junks or something while I'm giving out my golden suggestions. First, you would need to know how to scare the hell out of people with your silly costumes. No, dressing up as a unicorn does not count, douchebag. Make sure that you buy your favorite character high quality Halloween costume. When I say high quality, I mean it, not crappy torn up ones that have been used by some six years old cop face. You can buy them in popular local stores. If you can't find anything, first of all you have to go fuck yourself and try to dress up like your mom. For Pete's sake, do not dress up like Michael Jackson. People will think that the King of Pot returns for its vengeance and starting to trouble you with curses and spells. Try to decorate your house as scary as possible. I would recommend starting on a real haunted house so you don't have to waste any sweats of buying crappy pains in the neck like broken shitty dolls or cheap horror DVDs. Try to paint your house black, green, gray, but definitely not pink. When children start knocking on your doors for tricks and treats, start by a trick of pouring tons of snakes, lizards, cockroaches, mice and spiders on them. Take your dog's leftovers and wrap them in packages as chocolate and then give them to the children as treats. Try to smile at them when you give to them or else the gonna have doubts on you. When there's a real witch knocks on your door, for God's sake show them some respect by giving them real treats, or else they gonna curse you with a charm from their magical pot of shits. If it is a vampire or zombie on your front yard, banish a handful of onions into their mouth as treats, tell them not to copy the retarded characters from Twilight or Plants vs. Zombies. If you tricks and treats on your neighbor, let me tell you something. If they start tricks by doing weird shits on you, unleash your master kung fu powers on them. Remind them that they cannot fuck with you. If they give you disgusting Mexican food as treats, start to bitching them back in Spanish for giving you diarrhea or shits. Next step is to become a pro ghost hunter. This is gonna be a difficult job so listen up you buttholes. First, you need special gears. That includes flashlights, night vision goggles, thermal cameras, firearms, grenades, knives, a steel nerve and a couple of fancy dresses, cups and a teapot to organize a tea party with the dead people from the underworld. They probably gonna ask you for some beer and packs of cocaine, but this is not a requirement. Start of the night by walking around the cemetery ten times. With a full confidence, you can take out your clothes and walk around naked. That way the yins cannot fuck the yangs anymore. If there's a creepy human bones talking behind you, smack it across the face with your assault rifle. Remember to take a picture of King Kong when you see it. If you are too lazy making up hoaxes on Ghost, then you must get off your ass and find real paranormal evidences you lazy bastards. Congratulations jackholes, you are the first to produce a successful Halloween, or Halloween, or, you know what I mean. Next time on Ghost Hunters, I'm gonna show you some tips on how to take clips and pictures of ghost cats so you can post them on lolcats.com and makes fortunes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Arbiter. It is my pleasure to declare this year's winner of the Halloween Costume Contest. Hold on a second. We have a Halloween Costume Contest? WDF, why I didn't know that. It was in the lead story at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Didn't you read the notice board? No. I was busy watching cheap internet porn on clip for sale. Arbiter, stop wasting time talking with that douche. Just announce the winner already. Oh, right. Let's have a look at this year's competitors. First we have Cortana. Thank you, thank you. And Master Chief. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you guys if you do that again. And the winner of 
is here with our most eccentric creative costume, Cortana. Me? I won? Really? Yeah. What? I'm last place? Are you fucking serious? Look at my costume. It is obviously the best. That son of a bitch Cortana didn't put enough effort to buy a fabulous costume. All she did is to buy some crappy invisibility coat from some kind of wavely place for only five dollars. This is fucking horseshit. You should be ashamed to be the judge arbiter for giving an award for some ugly- <laughs> That wasn't ladylike at all. Shit.